Okay, there's something weird going on with this camera. It looks like there's a like frosted a viewfinder. I don't know why that is. Oh well. Uh, it's time for another Trump reading. This will be from March 11th to March 20th. March 11th to March 21st. There's 31 days, so we'll do that. And um, March 11th through March 21st. Okay. So, uh, it's crazy over there in the White House. Crazy stuff going down. Crazy week. Crazy two weeks. Ten days, whatever. Um, this coronavirus thing is not bringing the best out in our government or our White House. Um, they're fueling the fear. They're not, they're not abating the fear. And that's showing the stock market and everything else. And um, I've been watching a lot of Trump. You know, he gives his little... He's on, seems like he's on television quite a bit now with little sh short quips about the, yes, answering questions about the coronavirus. The man, there's something wrong here with him. I mean, and there's, I mean, he is a narcissist, you know, classic case. Um, but there's something more going on. I think there's something seriously going on with him neurologically. He just is unable to, to connect the dots, to think critically, to, um, to make sense, really. I mean, he speaks in fragments. He doesn't, he does, he just, it's like word salad coming out. And the other thing I noticed, I don't know if anyone else has noticed it who's watching, but he's getting this mask on his face. Um, certainly when he's sitting down, he's not involved. He gets this, like, the, the lips are turning downward and there's almost like a mask. It's almost like he's, he's not really all there. And uh, my dad had Alzheimer's and that's what happened. They, they lose their emotionality. They lose their expressiveness in their face. It becomes very deadpan. And he's starting to get that. And um, this isn't good. I mean, I don't know how he's going to manage running for office because at some point he's going to be, he's going to be giving a talk or going to have one of his, um, you know, uh, things that he goes to and he's just going to be he's gonna he's gonna make a fool and not to make a fool out of him so he's gonna just decompensate right on the stage one of these rallies um and that's not gonna be good I mean people have to step up the plate and do something I don't know um the other thing I thought about before I uh go on a rant, more rant. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to do this for too long, but I was thinking about, you know, his diet and we talk about diet and, and you know, we, we do have to be more holistic about what we put on our food, what we put on our land. I mean, you know, hopefully there's going to be more consciousness about everything that we do. But I do think that he is a product of, you know, McDonald's and of Diet Pepsi, which is, I think the thing that's, you know, I, I am convinced that in 10 years, there's going to be a study that comes out and that the population, the American population, has been poisoned slowly over two generations from what? From fake sugar. Now, people hate sugar. They think it's terrible. Sugar, a lot of sugar isn't good for you, but it's nothing like fake sugar. Fake sugar is deadly, and it just kills you. It, I think it causes all kinds of problems, neurological problems, Physiological, physiological problems, and anyone, you really got to stop drinking that stuff. That's got any kind of anything diet should just be thrown right in the garbage. Okay, that's all I got to say about that right now. So we're looking at uh, Mr. Trump, March 11th to March 21st. Oh boy. Been crazy. All right. So let's see how this is. It's still weird up there, but I don't know. Hopefully, it'll be okay. 
Um, this was recent past. These are upside down. Eight of coins. You know, fine tuning uh, something practical. He's working on something. He's working on a project. He's busy working on something, a project. Uh, I think this is could be. It's you know, it's a money project. It's something that has to do with money. I think it's he's probably spending an inordinate amount of time uh, worrying and discussing and obsessing and not sleeping about the stock market, as well as he should. So I think uh, this is his his attempts to sort of get that under control or get his people to get it under control. They lowered interest rates to like ridiculously low, but that's affecting the bond market. So when you were in stocks, you'd go over to the bond market because that'd be secured. But now that bond market, the bottom is falling out of that too. This man went, he went bankrupt five times, five bankruptcies. And he's, he's, he's in charge here. I don't think he's in charge. I think there's other people trying to reel things in. Uh, this is current action, the king of coins. Uh, I think this is him. I don't think he is the king of coins. I think he is the king of cups. Uh, I don't think he's capable of being the king of coins. But I think he is, um, he is working with other people. And that's a good thing. We want him to work with other people about this mess. But I, I see right now, I think his concern is mostly about money. It's not about the virus. This is Hidden Influences. Nine of Cups, the wish card. So here we have the Nine of Cups, uh, wishes and dreams. Uh, this is a wonderful card to have, very positive. So maybe something good is happening behind the scenes, hidden influences. We'll learn more about that with the uh, clarifiers. This is the obstacles, the page of coins. Was this there last time? You know, I didn't look at my previous video. A uh, page of coins is an obstacle. So this is someone delivering a message, a message about money. It could be bad news because it's in the obstacle position. We'll learn more about that. This is the community card. The nine of coins. It's another wonderful card to have. Uh, we got a lot of coins here. Uh, the nine of coins is the community card. It's, uh, you know, it's money. It's success. It's all those wonderful things. I think last time we defined it as the stock market, I do believe. Yeah, so here we are, the stock market. It's still going to be a concern. For the next uh, 10 days, the stock market will still be playing a huge part in this administration in, in the, the next two, 10 days. And then we have his, his, what he will take, the action he will take. The Seven of Swords, stealing away, gaslighting, deception. That's what he's going to do. He's going to be, you know, what do they say something about a pig's, a pig something on a pig or something? He's going to be doing that thing, whatever that is. I can't remember. But he's going to be trying to spin it. He's very good at spinning, and he's going to try to spin it. But at some point, he can just spin so much, spin so much, and then it will all come crashing down. And the outcome of that is strength. Well, that's good. Get stronger. Uh... Maybe the stock market will get will come back, will rally, which will be a good thing. I mean, you can't you can't um, be sad about a strength card coming up. That's a wonderful card to have. So we'll, we're going to put clarifiers on these to see exactly how wonderful this is and how poor, bad these things, these other things are. If they are, maybe they're good. We're supposed to look at the King of Coins. So in his current position, uh, he's going through Eight of Cups. He's trying to fine tune things. Quiet. King of Coins. I'm thinking this is someone else in his world. Maybe it's him. We'll see. The Nine of Cups. We got this over here. Wishes and Dreams. That's, those are wonderful cards, really. The Eight of Coins. Here. We got a lot of duplicates coming up here. And the Three of the Four of Swords is, you know, repose, taking a break. So, uh, it looks like there could be some, you know, maybe he's getting some good news this weekend. Good news about money, uh, and it, that it will satisfy him, that will make him think, okay, the worst is over. 
Um, he's still working on the situation. And then it leads to repose. So it looks like a lot of activity, but then either a retreat or a rest of some kind. I think these are really good cards. I think, I think someone is coming in and is actually taking control here and if, for, in a good way. I, I can't see the downside of all these cards. These are all really good cards. Um, a wish and dream, wishes and dreams coming true, working harder. So he's working hard here, he's still working, and there's repose. Uh, the Nine of Cups, that is in the Hidden Influences position. Hidden Influences. The Fool. Well, the Fool card. The Seven of Cups, which is a choice card. And the Tower. Well, we have this good energy coming in here. Uh, with wishes and dreams. It came up here, it came up here. So it's good. I mean, it's, these are positive things. This is the universe saying, okay, we're going we're gonna to help you through this. But then for some reason, the fool energy comes in. So that's sort of, you know, he has this fool energy. And I think it's because of his mental health issues. I mean, I really do think he has some mental, not, I'm sorry, not mental health, some, some um, organic neurological stuff going on where there's inappropriateness here. There's childlike behavior. There's things that, you know, is not good. Impulsive, a lot of impulsive behavior. Where does that lead to? It leads to someone or something making a choice. And the choice is, it brings on the tower. So that's a little concerning. Now these are hidden influences. So behind the scenes there may be some tower moments. I think there's many tower moments in his administration as he goes off the rails. He goes off the rails apparently all the time, so. Page of Coins, this is in his um, obstacles position. The Page of Coins, they, they bring messages. It's a youthful energy, usually about practical matters, money. It could be about sickness and health. We have the King of uh, the King of Coins, which is also down here. We're having a lot of duplicates. Interesting, interesting. And then we have the Two of Wands, this is a, a new idea coming forth. A decision hasn't been made, but it's a new idea, a new, a new way of thinking. It's, it's, it's fire energy. It's a new way of looking at things to, make, to, to go in a direction, but the direction hasn't been chosen yet. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Queen and the King of Pentacles here. So this is his... We've got a lot of coins here. A lot of coins. we got the cups. we got a lot of coins. So we have a page delivering a news... Uh, it's an obstacle, so I don't think it's good news. But then we have people here. We have the king and the queen of pentacles um, addressing or dealing with the situation, whatever situation this is. Now, this is an obstacle, so we got a problem here. So he is conferring with other people, which is a good thing. He has to, con he has to confer with other people. And see, I think that's another problem that he's had in this administration. He thinks he can do it all, and he can't. Who could? No one could. No one can do this job by themselves. And the thing is, you have to uh, work with other people, and you have to trust their judgment, and you have to go with it. And they just give him options, and he always chooses the craziest things. And so here he's, he's getting a message about money, and there's people trying to convince him to make a decision. They're trying, to, they're trying to work with him to, to make the right decision. But it's an obstacle, so I don't know if they succeed. And I don't know if he sees them as being helpful. The Nine of Coins, you know, we talked about as the stock market, and that's the community, so that's the stock market. Let's see how the stock market's going to go. We have the Queen of Chalices, the Queen of Cups, Oh, the Ten of Swords. Okay, well, that's not the best. And we have uh, the Knight of Wands. Uh, the Knight of Wands is, uh, well, the Queen of, of Chalice is a very intuitive queen, a loving queen, uh, someone who brings health, uh, intuition, support, nurturing, kind of like a mini Empress card. So she's there. She could be one of the, the minions uh, 
involved in the stock market, maybe someone he trusts. Uh, the Ten of Swords, of course, is you know a termination of something, a lot of mental anguish, but it's it's a difficult card. It can be a difficult card, and then he also pulls the the Knight of Wands, which is a fiery knight, uh, kind of someone that comes in and saves the day, but then you know doesn't spend too much time doing it, and then takes off. So, yeah. um, so there's a lot of activity with the community. There is, and with the stock market, there's I, I would say there's some. Uh, uh, a volatility, but I think it's coming to could be coming to an end. There could be someone that's saving the day. Two people maybe that are saving the day. So uh, his action after all this happens is is the the seven of swords, which is gaslighting and stealing away and causing problems. Business as usual. Let's see. The Seven of Swords, so that's um, doubling up, two Sevens of Swords. So this is going to be a lot, a lot of gaslighting this the next 10 days, 21st, the 11th to the 21st. A lot of gaslighting to the public, a lot of um, not telling the truth, a lot of being called out, uh, different stories at different times about the same thing, like he flip-flopping. Flip-flopping, gaslighting, in spades. We got two sevens of swords. We get the death card, oh boy. Okay, so, you know, things are going well. He's getting a lot of support, and then he messes it up. He totally messes it up. He sabotages himself. This is a huge, the next 10 days are huge moments of sabotage. Huge moments of sabotage and the Eight of Swords. So this is all swords. This is how he's going to act. He's going to react. It's going to be terrible. And I think, you know, I think some people that are, you know, his supporters may think, well, this guy's off the rails. You know, this guy, something's wrong, and something is wrong. But where does this all lead? It leads to the Strength card. So it, it, it would indicate maybe some hopefulness here. Let's see what that Strength card is about. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. The Emperor. The Emperor is, a strange, is an interesting card. I mean, I always think of the Emperor as like the male Empress, so I think it's kind of a positive card, but, you know, it's kind of, it's real stubborn. It's someone being very stubborn and stalwart and um, sometimes warlike. The Knight of Swords. Okay, we had a lot of cups here. We had not a cups. We had with some cups, but we had a lot of coins, coins, coins. Again, and getting into this uh, this area of the community, where all of a sudden it starts switching into the sword energy, and then we became all sword energy coming down here. The strength card is someone's strength. It brings up the emperor, and who is the emperor? Is he the emperor? Is he the emperor with no clothes, or new clothes, or no clothes? The emperor with no clothes? I don't know. Uh, there's a heartbreak here. There's new energy coming in here. There's some clarity coming in. Who is above Donald Trump? It could be someone who runs, runs the banks, the Federal Reserve maybe or something. I mean, someone who does control everything. Someone who does come in and take charge of this. Because I don't, I don't see him, I mean, I guess he could become strong after this, but this is so, such a dramatic, uh, dramatic section of him gaslighting and flip-flopping and turmoil and death. And then how does he gain the strength from that situation? And it seems like someone Someone is helping him get that strength, or someone is taking over. I don't know. Uh, it's heartbreak, and then there's clarity. So someone is coming in, or something is happening to bring it kind of make it whole again. 
So what do we have here? We have, uh, you know, we have uh, him working on the stock market. There's stock market issues coming in. He's the king of coins, maybe. He's, he's giving good, people are helping him. Wishes are coming true. He's, he's dealing again with fine-tuning everything. Uh, I think someone's, I think what may be happening is he goes on vacation and everyone else is behind the scenes is trying to make things right. The Nine of Cups is a wonderful card. It's hidden influences. Here we have the Fool Energy. Well, and we have the Seven of uh, Cups, which is making a choice, but then we have the Tower. So we have something hidden influences where he gets a little, he gets a little, maybe, he has wonderful, you know, he's, he, capability, the spiritual aspects is there to, to make his wishes and dreams come true, but then he gets a little cocky, he gets a little uh, impulsive, he makes choices, and the choices are not good. They're very bad. This is the tower. Here, this is the, the uh, obstacles. There's obstacles, but it seems like whatever obstacles they are, there's a message he gets, but there's, there's supportive, there's two supports here, the king and the queen of pentacles that's supporting him, and they're coming up with an idea. Uh, a, a new idea to move everything forward. So even though he's getting this um, this message about money that's an obstacle, I think he has he has these people working on his behalf behind the scenes. The community uh, is uh, I call this the uh, stock market. Last time we'll stick with the stock market. This is the stock market. How will that go? Well, he has the Queen of Chalices, which is a good. It's intuitive. It's loving. It's kind. It's supportive. It's uh, health. You know healthful um, and so that's a good that's a good card to have I mean it's not a, a money card but it's a good card to have but then he gets the ten of ten of uh, swords so it sounds like it it could be a very emotional ups and downs that leads to some more downs and ups but then uh, the knight of sword comes in so there is some relief so I think it's it's going to be volatile to be sure but not Horrendous. It's going to be volatile, but not horrendous. There is this Knight of Swords that brings clarification. Oh, no, it's not the Knight of It's the Knight of Wands. <laughs> knight of Wands is the fiery knight. He rides in and rides out, you know. He's like the um, Lone Ranger. I don't know. Could be good, could be bad. But there's, it's up and down for sure. Because he gets this card after that in response to the community. And we have Swords and we have the Death card. So we have a lot of gaslighting, a lot of uh, flip-flopping, a lot of, it's a lot of mess up here. It's a mess. It's a real mess here. But then we get the strength card, and I don't see him as being the strength. I don't, I don't see him getting the strength. I see him, there's someone coming in, this emperor energy is coming in. Uh, there's heartbreak, there's the emperor, and then there's some clarity. So something, someone is coming in strong cleaning up the, the mess on aisle five. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. So in summary, I think this is a lot about the stock market again. I mean, I think that's what he's mostly concerned about. And uh, there's going to be some roiling waters. There's ups and downs. There's really, this, this was not a, his action during the 10 days is real volatile. And uh, that's a problem. But then he comes in with a strength card. So uh, the United States will, will go to live another week beyond, or another 10 days after the 10 days are coming because we have something coming up here very strong and certain, and it's kind of pulling everything together. So the volatility by the end of the 10 days will be sort of um, ameliorated. And so welcome to our world in the United States. It's a roller coaster. We go up, we go down, we go down, we go up. Have a great day.